We're here with Vito Gasparri. We're on the eve of a big fight against Brandon Adams in the Boxino semifinals. Uh, how's everything going? Perfect. I have nothing to say about it. Everything went well. Just can't wait for the fight. And I'll ask Brandon the same question. Familiarity. You know him well. You've sparred. I talked to him. You say it's an advantage because, you know, you know each other. He says it's an advantage because he's grown a lot more. He said he only had a couple fights when you guys sparred each other. What, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, you know, sparring is a sparring. Sparring is not an actual fight. So there is no, nobody gets paid in a sparring session. I know he's grown, and I've seen his fights, and I'm, I, I've been preparing myself for the best Brandon Adams possible, not the one that I've sparred with. Because, honest to God, I don't remember one thing from the sparring. Like I said, all I remember, I'm undefeated in my gym. Nobody beat me in my gym, so I, could, I, would, I would remember. But uh, it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be really style-wise. Like, you know, like styles make fights. Style-wise, it's going to be a good fight because I'm a warrior in my spirit. Maybe not the biggest power out there and this and that. But I have to, over 200 amateur fights. I can box. And I have pretty good uh, professional experience too in a professional ring so it's going to be a really good fight not to harp too much on sparring but um tell me uh, you've been, just been in camp with ruslan Provodnikov and frankie gomez are getting prepared for big fights obviously i know you've worked with a lot of big name fighters over the year but they're you know in the trenches of, of b the biggest fights of their career how much of what they're going through rubs off on you because you're you know getting your mindset for maybe what could be the biggest fight of your career it's 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 been huge i mean they both are getting ready with for uh with a big fights uh like you know ruslan is getting ready to fight uh matisse and uh, uh frankie gomez fighting uh humberto soto humberto soto well those are really good fights and they both are beasts like before i got to the camp they've been knocking every sparring partner out like i mean they've been they've been switching sparring partners like in Harbit, and I got there, and Freddie loved it, and Freddie knows me well. Like I mean, we're really cool, we're really tight, and uh, Freddie loved the sparring. I loved the sparring because it was really good work for me. It was really good work for, work for them. So we've been working. So it's been a dog fight, and also we've been working on a game plan, whatever we had in front of us. So. What's the Brandon Adams now that you see in the ring? I'm sure you watched the last fight and everything. Compared to the young Brandon Adams that you were in the ring with, tell me what, what, what Brandon Adams you expect to see tomorrow night. I'm going to see the best Brandon Adams, which is going to be aggressive, and he's going to try to be smart too. Which, like, I'm not, uh, uh, they, uh, his main thing, they say his power, and uh, he's, he's a powerful fighter, and... Um, that's what I've been preparing for, and also I've been preparing for uh, Brandon Adams like that's gonna try to box also. So both things, I'm gonna I'm a type of fighter who adjusts in the ring. Maybe first two rounds won't go my way, but I'll try to adjust whatever he does in the third round, fourth round. Like I'll see what he's gonna bring to the table. I've seen him already. I've seen his last fights. I've looked at his, analyzed his last fights, and I could tell like what he's made of. Since the last time we talked. Uh, the first Boxino winner, Bully Monroe, has earned his world title shot. And it's no secret, all the promoters, all the fighters, even Willie himself acknowledges, if it wasn't for Boxino, he would not be uh, getting that opportunity. Has seeing that, hearing all that news, inspired you a little bit more to see, you know, the, the, this tournament really is the gateway to a world title? If it wasn't for boxing, I probably would have retired for box boxing. Like I said, it's a dirty business, and even though it's like my son, it's like my brother. Boxing is. I didn't want to continue anymore mm -hmm. because of the boxing, or because of this huge opportunity that is given to us. I'm still in boxing, and I'm still working hard every day, day and night, and to pay myself for the best and uh, to win this tournament would would mean huge. Like would be huge for me because I see like if you win this tournament, it would take me to the world title fight. Anything you want to say in closing? Nothing. Just um, good luck to Brandon Adams. Good luck to myself. Good luck all the fighters. I hope everybody comes out of the ring safe. Two guys from Southern California coming 3,000 miles east to settle the, settle the score here. Vito Gasparian, best of luck. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thank it. You.